Okay, this is non-stop anonymous games for a complete hour. Let's go here. So a mixture of time frames, starting with three minutes. Let's just crack on, see what we can do. Let's take this pawn. Let's take, let's bring the bishop supporting the pawn. And he's looking to champion something, but I'm just developing the knight and the bishop. Castle. Bring our rook into the center. <clears throat> get the bishop out of the way. Let's get the bishop ready for the Fianchetto. We don't like Fianchetto. Queen's move there for some obvious neat reason, but let's see what we can do. Uh, white square bishop oh, flashing up on my screen. Close there. Uh, what we got? What we got? Tick tock, tick tock. Double the rooks. Well, move the queen over here. Mm -mm. Yep. So we're both being a bit cagey. I'm gonna hit the knight. Take. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Feeling good. Let's um, maybe not block there. Let's attack the bishop. Let's take. Let's, um, shall we even bother with that knight? No. Let's go here. It wants to get it back in the game. Let's go here. Opposite the queen. Interesting situation. So, gonna give up another pawn, are we? Ooh, attacking the knight. Get the queen in. Let's attack the rook. Let's take. Take. Interesting situation. Let's push. Time's running down now. Okay, let's uh, push. So he's got the pawn here. Let's attack this pawn. He's being greedy. He's wanting everything. Shall we take? Okay, shall we just protect? Let's attack. Attack again. Yeah, let's attack again. Shall we take? All right, let's push. Um, I always do that and I end up, but never mind, just move the king up. Just enticing the pawn down. Should attack this pawn. Attack this pawn. Take. Attack the pawn. Let's go check. Go check. Can't really win, he's got two linked pawns here, so, and even if we go for the rook, he's still got the linked pawns. So we might have to resign this one, I think. There's nothing doing here. Yeah, a little bit clever for me. All right, okay, let's go on to the next one. So complete hour. We've already done four minutes at the minute. So we're still on the three minute game. Shall we push through the center here? And let's grab with the queen. Move a bit quicker. Let's take the queen off the board. 
Oh, they might get the old fried, might they? They might get the old fried. I think. I think they're still going to get the fried anyway, aren't they? Yeah, it's going to jump here. Oh, missed opportunity. Let's get some space for the castle in. Let's castle. Let's take disruption of the pawns. No problem. Let's attack the bishop. Not taking. Let's take. It's on the bishop. Do we? Do we? No, let's go here. Okay, shall we attack the rook? Let's take. Let's go in castling. Let's go and attack the knight and the pawn. Take with the rook. Okay, can't challenge there yet. Can't challenge the knight. Attack in the rook, can take the pawn. Knight goes and attacks the rook. Rook's not in a very nice position. It's in the center of the board and it's not owning the file, so we need to readjust. Let's get back into the open file. Shall we attack? He looks like he knows what he's doing with his knight. Let's just attack the knight. Let's attack in the rook. Rook's got space to attack up here on the pawn. Bishop's got a bit of a check on the king, get rid of the knight. Um, or shall we just take first? Still keeping that in the back pocket. Let's push past pawn. Lots of pluses at the minute and we've got space for the king. Uh, he's coming down for the pawns, so he's coming down for the pawns. Let's put the check on. I think it was time. He's coming down for the pawn here. Let's take. And let's just come here, see what happens. Yeah, so he's just grabbing pawns, put a check on. We do have a passer, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have pushed that. Because I can't protect it really. Let's move the king. Time wise, not too bad. Uh, ooh, yeah, I can't protect it really. Put a check on. So the rooks are coming off the board. Let's take. Get the king across. Oops, don't do that. King across. King across. It's coming snapping pawns. Push our pawn up. Hits our king. We can go here. Push. Push. Oh, excuse me. Push. Uh, let's come round. Let's come round. Let's come round. These can end in draws as well. <clears throat> let's take. And let's push for a move. Okay, we don't have to take. Let's push. It looks like they've left the game. Okay. So that's nine minutes in. To the hour session that was the three minute section we took a loss in the first one got a bit of a win here that's fine okay so let's move on to maybe a 10 or shall we just continue with another three we'll do another three because we've got an hour and whoa what's happened here okay nobody wants to play let's go here let's bring the night out oh i've not I feel like I've not seen this for a bit. Let's go here. 
it's going to take. Let's bring the bishop, attacking the knight, it's got no protections. Okay, so they're moving real quick. Let's bring the bishop out. A lot of dancing with the knight. Let's bring the knight up. Let's attack the bishop. Let's take the bishop off the board. Let's take the pawn. Let's attack the knight, one of the knights. Let's take. Let's take. Um, interesting situation developed. Let's attack the queen. Take, take. Let's attack the um, pawn. Let's just uh, bring the rook up, double in, move the king across. Okay, we take, he takes. I'm taking. He takes, we attack his rook. He attacks our king, comes down, takes a pawn, we take the rook. Game we got here very quickly, we've got like two minutes left. Alright, interesting time, so if we take, his rook goes back. I'm wondering if there's a fancy manoeuvre. Rook puts a check on the king. King can't do anything, so I have a moves here. I'm going to try it anyway, go for a bit of fancy. Put the check on, King comes there. Oh, the Rook goes there. Interesting times. So do we just take, take? Or do we take? And... Are they plus one? They look like... Oh, no, they're not. Let's take. They've got pawn majority on this side, and we've got pawn majority on this side. And uh, let's take. Let's push. Push that. Get the king across. And shall we push? And push. Let's take. Let's push. Pawn's close enough for us here, so we could go here. It's going to push the pawn. We're going to put the check on. We're going to put the check on. And then we're going to come over for the pawn. But this is a draw. This is a draw because I'm not going to be able to stop his king from coming here. So we may as well just accept it's a draw. Yeah, nothing to do. It's a draw. All right, no problems. All right, we'll go on to do a 10, 10 minute game now. All right, let's just change the situation on here. Do, 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 do. 10 minute. We're 13 minutes into our, our session. So playing a few 10 minute games. Let's just bust this night. So we can take our time a little bit now in this game. We don't need to go so frantic. Support the pawn. Take. Disrupted the pawn structure for us. That seems to be the psychology of the day. Let's just grab this pot. Oh, I thought the knight was going to be taken. Interesting times. Shall we x-ray through with the bishop? Onto the queen. I think they'll be castling. We need to get castled ourselves, I think. Looks like to me. Okay, so they're not doing that. Could come here. Could come here. Give the king some company. Let's just bring the bishop back. It's quite hard tra tra traversing from blitzy type stuff into then rapid slow play game. My brain is still going quick, 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 quick calculations. Let's just bring the bishop here. 
We can still call them Queenside Castle. It's not going to be much of a castle, but let's go here. Seeing this enough Kingside Castle to a, sh a little bit of a shoddy castle. Let's castle. Can we take advantage of this shoddy castle? One, two, bishop, bishop. A little bit of a gap here. Queen comes off the back. Get the rooks really involved. Move the bishop out of the way. Can't take anything. Hmm. It's not a very nice position, is it? But we do have shoddy pawn here. Maybe we can take advantage of the shoddy castle. They might. I think they've just realised that they've just given this pawn up. That's why they've gone slow now. So the king's probably coming to defend. No, the knight's gone. Okay, I'm going to take the pawn from the shoddy castle. It's coming for the bishop. And he's changed his trajectory. So we could, if we can get our bishop to this square, then we have a mate threat type thing. But I think this pawn is just going to drop. Let's try it anyway. But I think this pawn will just drop to block. Then there is this, but the knight is there at the minute. Okay, so we can still do this, but that's going to drop. But then we said we could try and do this. So do we do this one first, it goes here, or do we do this? Let's do this one first. Options of this here. The queen is there, but does that not mean we get the checkmate? Ouch! Yes, very good. Okay, 17 minutes in. Obviously, you know, don't really want to play all the way through without a break, but um, let's continue on. 10 minute game. Let's go. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, let's. Bring the knight out. Oh no, very aggressive. That doesn't mean it's rubbish. I've seen this done before and you lose the tempo, don't you? But I'm going to take it and see what they do. And just bring the bishop back here to here. Shall we... I'm not sure. Shall we castle first because the queen's going to be coming putting checks on us. Just take time. And let's just attack the centre now. Let's grab and be on the bishop. Uh, we can take the knight for free. I'm always very wary when they're just giving pieces up type thing. You just think, are you falling into some sort of fancy trap? Okay, can the bishop come and protect? No, let's attack the bishop again. Our king is okay here. Let's so try to try and... Let's take the bishop off the board. Takes, takes. Quick. Whoa! We can take the bishop, or is there something else? I'm going to just take the bishop, I think. Going to take the bishop. Um, yes. Oh, they've resigned. Okay. 18 minutes into this hour session. It's basically the non stop anonymous games session. And. Uh, Let's just see how we can keep getting on. So how many did we play then? Was that three anonymous ones? Do you know, I can't even remember. Right, so let's go for something different now. I feel like I've done enough of them for a bit. A longer play game. Probably won't get anybody. And if we do, they'll probably be superstars. 15-10, let's go. 15-10. And they're moving real quick already. Can take the pawn, but I prefer just bringing the knight here. In the evaluation, it just says knight takes and not sorry, the pawn takes and all that sort of stuff. I'm going to bring the queen back because it seems more straightforward. All the other bits are a little bit arty farty. The computer can make it work beautifully, but I don't seem to understand it. And I've only got this one from evaluation. Um, I'm not really a fan of it, but doing this type of manoeuvre, yeah, the, the, the usually go here, then we're hitting here, then the bishop comes in. 
we're not in the best position but it's something to deal with this type of opening that's occurred it's very rare that they do take they tend to push forward because they yeah exactly and then we push on here I only got this from evaluation um, from looking at the computer and being go well I don't really play like that you know I don't really like it um, but it seemed to be okay-ish because they're not doing much else they might end up maybe a pawn up or whatever it is but I don't really like the position but it does seem to work so then the bishop comes out and supports this sort of thing here like this and I think that's where I do it wrong because I start panicking and I just take the ball off the board but I think I'm supposed to bring this out here but because the Queen's got all this situation attacking here and all that that's the that's the power base for this type of opening for white the Bishop hasn't come there just yet so I'm tempted to take the pawn but the Queen still does have this type of stuff I'm just bringing the Bishop out bringing the Bishop out x-raying the Knight through to the King so at least we can get castled because that's always the concern about this type of opening that I'm just not getting castled Queen comes here starts messing about putting checks on losing tempos all over the place so I don't believe I'm ever doing this type of maneuver right but it just feels better if we remember we might jump back into this um, and just have a look at the analysis of this type of response to this type of opening and just maybe throw some more stuff in a little bit of learning so it's a 15 minute 10 second game and the Queen is out at last all right so we can just take the Knight off the board if I don't think the Queen's gonna take I think the pawn's gonna take because the Queen wants the B pawn wants to be supporting this pawn and yeah there's no point bringing the Knight here Bishop's just gonna take let's take the Knight off the board don't be too arty it's arty enough as it is this type of opening <clears throat> like I said I'm not a fan of the position that it gives me <clears throat> I'm more a fan of being able to at least respond to the way white is kind of opening Queen does take I'm shocked so we can take pawn am I slowing my because the Queen yeah if we take the pawn then the Bishop comes in and attacks our Bishop then comes to attack but then their rook could come here so I'm actually just castling they've got a pawn with the Queen so I think they'll go for that so it's not a very nice like I said we'll probably end up being a pawn down just because of it so we knew this right from the very beginning it's not really my favorite type of play but from my experience of playing it like this we do end up in a better position later on when we start traversing through you know the mid game and then into the end game for some strange reason because they've done so many poor maneuver type things and they've utilized their queen and you know they've brought the bishop out here they've not castled yet at this moment in time we're able to kind of grab back some important tempi during the game i'm hopefully going to try and show it in this game here we did mention we're going to be down a pawn um but we can hopefully improve our position yes yeah, so if they've taken which is um all part of what we've said so they'll be looking to disrupt the pawn structure here in front of our king with the, with the capture so we can bring the knight up and attack the queen smaller piece attacking higher piece so this small tiny bit of tempo win in terms of attacking a higher piece with a smaller piece slowly but surely trying to claw back that time 
So you get openings like these where you're not really a fan of them, but if you are practiced against them, you, you kind of get a little bit familiar with that uncomfortableness and try and work your way through. So the queen's gone back, the smaller piece can attack the higher piece again. It's looking at this being a past pawn. I'm going to take the pawn off the board. Obviously this pawn is taking back because they're wanting this as the past pawn, obviously, and they'll be trying to support that forever and a day. And again, this is that small little tempo win type things that we're talking about. Because if you can see another tempo win, we're putting a check on the king. If it happens, bishop probably comes back to defend. So it's doing something it didn't really want to do. And then maybe trying to build from there. Smallest of details might not happen. They might do something totally different. But as we mentioned earlier, they'll hopefully starting now to respond to what we're doing so the pawns come down attacking the knight now the knight can't move because the bishop is going to be attacking the queen so we're going to put a check on the king like we said just move the queen out of the way so the knight can then <clears throat> basically maneuver here attacking the bishop type situation but we said the bishop is probably going to come back to attack the queen because it's a small piece attacking the queen so it gives us time to move our knight out of the way or not because the bishop is attacking the higher piece. So it looks like we will lose this pawn, but at the expense of the rook being able to put a check on the king. Again, they can defend quite easily. They've gone for an exchange. They've gone for an exchange. I would not have thought they've gone for an exchange because this knight will be going now, won't it? This pawn, sorry, will be going. So we're going to grab the pawn. So what, now we're plus one. So that move or disruption of our pawn structure, that's fair enough. Yep, understood. So now we just need, just need to reposition and protect our pieces as best possible and try and utilize the strength of the pieces that we've got. Rook's owning the open files if we can. So he's attacking the pawn, but we're gonna have to bring the bishop here to defend, I think. I think we're going to do that. Just keep it simple and maybe start attacking here because it's an isolated pawn. So as we mentioned earlier, I mean, there's no guarantees of any advantages, wins or whatever. What we're looking at is how we're building up from an opening we don't really like. And the smallest of tempo wins is starting to kick in a little bit because they're currently their pieces are on the back. Uh, so he's come out defending the pawn. Our rook probably wants to just come here. I don't think there's anything better at the minute. Still attacking the pawn. Oops, excuse me. Our knight's defended by the pawn. And we are looking to maybe try and double the rooks up as best possible. Because the knight's not going to want to stay there forever protecting the pawn. So that's as simple as I can kind of place this at the minute. Their bishop is jammed in. So are they looking for Fianchetto type situation? Putting pressure onto the pawn here. That's the picture I can see they're probably going to develop. Which gives us time to maybe move the rook here, supporting the pawn. So reaching the half hour point of the anonymous session, the non-stop anonymous session. And they're not going for the Fianchetto, but what else are they going for? So does that give us time to continue with Rook here? Rook here? That was the plan, wasn't it? If we do go there though, his knight can jump here and attack the rook. So maybe if we go on the dark square, I mean, nothing's really challenging it, but then maybe the knight comes here to attack the bishop. But we do have the pawn that's protecting there. I think going on to the dark square works, I think. Give the option of rook coming here behind. Like I said, I'm sure this was supposed to be the one, but we shall see. And the knight was always going to be attacked. I didn't think they'd do it this early though. So 
the light can come here and it can be a bit disruptive because obviously it can come here so I'm going to bring the knight across with the potential for attacking here maybe the rook just moves out of the way can challenge the rook by coming here so slow incremental development their king is still in the center of the ball but we can't do anything about that but one of their minor pieces is not really in the game so it probably needs to exercise it looks like they've left the game interesting times but hopefully you could see the development of what we were trying to do oh this is the game we said we were potentially going back to have a look at the opening and let's see how if there's any key learnings from that opening because i i got it from the evaluation many moons ago and i just think okay it works but i'm never doing it right you know i don't think i'm doing it right Okay, so let's have a look. Dun, 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 dun. So it's saying E6. Yeah, I don't like that E6 thing. It just looks a bit too... It, look, it just feels too tame. And it's blocking, blocking my pieces. You know, my bishop type thing. If I need to get it into action. So we bring the knight up. Pawn takes. And it's saying the knight take... Now I had issues with the knight taking um, because it just get in the past it was just getting chased around by the pawns. So I thought, well, just going with a simple queen attacking, just get it out of the way. We know the knight's going to come and attack it and just bring the queen back. Computer doesn't like any of those maneuvers that I made just then. It's up and down, but I'm happy with it based on my evaluation. Now this was the part that I learned from the evaluation uh, constantly going into this position. Now it's saying E5, which is what we do. And then they push down, saying C6. Yeah, then C6, that's what we do. And then Bishop B4. Now this is where I potentially go wrong. <clears throat> uh, Bishop B4 is correct. Yes, nice one. And then so bishop takes c3 correct nice one not that i'm you know hell bent on being a computer but at least this is showing that the evaluation that we've done from the previous games um obviously we're doing something right from the learning so it's all about learning if you're wanting to improve isn't it now this part whew, let's see so it says castle and we castle, nice one, okay. So they're not fantastically brilliant moves or anything like that. It's no major advantages, but at least we're picking the best moves. Now, this is going to be a bit sticky, isn't it? We know that we explained all of this about the queen taking the pawn, etc. Uh, queen a5. Oh, he's done the queen a5 first. He's done the check first. Okay, so if I did that, what major change will it take? Just doesn't minus 0 0.4. But we did knight minus 0 point. Well, it's the same. It's the same. No big beef. A smaller piece attacking a higher piece can't be wrong. And I'm not going to go through the whole game. I just want to go through this section here. And we've not done too bad. As you can see, the gauge bar is not ma it's not massively advantageous, but it's those small details that we're talking about, those small, tiny um, initiatives, you know, those small tempos that have been won from this position. So we captured, they pushed, knight takes e5. Ooh. Oh, because of the... Damn, silly me. Yeah. If we take, the only piece that can take the knight is this, and then we'd get the queen off the board. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, that's so... It's so simple now, you see it? Oh, I worked too hard. Oh, now that's too late. Look at that, it's giving them a free plus three. Although it's nothing major, it's plus three, but... Oh, I missed that. That's beautiful. 
and that's not that's not anything that I quite can't put into my mental Rolodex yeah that's unbelievable I could have done that yeah I didn't see that and I was talking about you know being x-raying through and putting pressure onto the king I should have just followed that through with that there oh so that's like I'm gonna carry on now because plus three. Oh, but then they did this queen exchange I was surprised at the queen exchange yeah I did think the bishop was gonna come back and it is suggesting the bishop coming back and attacking the queen so that would have given them an advantage probably maybe but we would never know okay so yeah I'm fair I'm fairly happy with that and the, at that point then it's um, yeah yeah that's fine great stuff oh I nearly cancelled the recording then getting carried away and we've got 30 we're in 36 minutes so we're going to go on to the next game and shh, do, do, do. we'll do another 15 minute 10 second game and see how we get on so this is the non-stop anonymous games section uh, for an hour so we've got like 24 minutes left and see how we get on it's going to push in the center here block the pawn tempted to push the pawn but I, I need to get pieces activated you know my minor pieces activated it's all right pushing pawns but I just feel push too many lose development of your minor and major pieces that's just my thought process everybody's got different thought processes so it's a 15 minute 10 second game so it can take a while or it can end quickly depending on the player this looks like we've got a thinker here so that's good hopefully we can try and break down what position we're currently in and see if we're going to be happy with it um, for me this position is not right for black because they've just held back on any attacking type potential on the pawns but it's also a downside for white in a sense that they've not charged in and taken charge of the center if you know what I mean so we don't have anything to hit, so we're hitting thin air, but they're also not developing. So I'm going to push this pawn and hopefully maybe get the bishop out, maybe defending the knight, something. Don't want to overextend in this type of thing. So it's almost like a stonewall type effect. You know, I'm going to take the knight off the board. And... Let to look, look to get castle but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a check on the king see if we bait a pawn they may go for an exchange but normally they just go for that so again looking for that stone wall looking blocked off position it can sometimes help white but at the same time they are the leaders they started first and now it looks like they're coming up second in terms of development on the board okay let's castle keep it nice and simple and it's not saying that they are because people can play like this you know start moving the knights free and chattering and all that sort of stuff just sitting waiting for you to overextend we're looking to hit this pawn here but being mindful of the bishop attacking through onto the rook so do we block down ourselves and um, the knight wants to get activated wants to get into a nice position but it's um, blocked off at the minute queen's protecting so we could push but then he's still got the um, bishop attacking take the bishop off the board I don't really see why we need to get too airy about that could attack this pawn but the bishop is going to take and it disrupts the position a little bit so where's the knight thinking it's going if it's thinking it's going there hmm, or do we just develop our knight out and let him come here I'm just going to bring the knight out and if he's deciding to come here I don't know what it's going to cause trying to sit here maybe don't know so I think they'll castle so it's nothing oh so we know this sort of plan us I think ish looking to push down here with the rook supporting so what we're going to do is attack this pawn we were always targeting with the bishop we were going to do it but we took the bishop off the board let's see if we can get some activity going 
get rid of this storm wally type thing from the way the plane doesn't look like they like capturing too much they're just sitting on the back waiting for some type of opening now it's got no protection on it at the minute searching for this but he's not going to do that because the queen could come here with a check on the king and get the knight off the board <clears throat> excuse me so if they left it oh we can't do it now so maybe they've seen what we were trying to do so it's offered up this pawn but maybe we should take this pawn and then obviously they're probably going to do something like this and this does that give them a pawn majority on this side we take take so it gives them three pawns on this side if we take here um, it doesn't have to take with the pawn but um, it can take with the rook takes with the pawn here and it um, equalizes the pawns on this side so looking future tense probably taking this pawn is better but then the rook can take and the rook is on our pawn here and then it's got a pawn majority in the center which one do we go with that is the option or do we just push <laughs> do we just push hey do we just push and save any complication knight comes in I'm gonna push just to save any complication because they've offered the pawn for a reason they're wanting us to take so they can open up we're gonna have to do this to do this if we're gonna block it off because the knight's jumping at the bit the positive reason behind that is oh because they've just got they've got a bishop and a knight so the bishop is not going to be a fan of locked down positions so they're going to want to try and mash open space to give their bishop space so they've moved the knight so they can probably challenge maybe so that's the tiniest of pluses so because we oh do we hit the pawn now and they take take and then at least we're doing it on our turns if they take or does he just blast through and then that messes our whole system up <laughs> Let's just lock it down as best possible. Gives us some time to think. And then we do have the option of attacking here, but it does have the bishop. So we could attack. The knight is protecting this pawn. If he takes, then the knight can take or on the bishop. I think this is the time to actually attack before they get settled. They look too happy to be in lockdown position right from the very start. But at some point, somebody's got to make a break. Or maybe we just keep pushing and locking down. Because like we said, they've just got a bishop. Ah, let's take. So he's got two pieces on there. We've got two pieces defending at the moment. Maybe the bishop says, no, I've had enough of this. I'm just going here. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so the knight's got free reign to come and attack this pawn. So we'll bring the knight up and attack the pawn. It's attack, then it would be attacking the queen. So I think the queen's going to move offline just to defend. Well, maybe not there, but, you know, well, maybe not there even. Maybe here, sorry, here. Because then it's protecting the pawn and it's taking itself off of the line of attack. So that's the best move for them, I think. But I can't think for them. I'm just trying to look at trying to get in this knight doesn't have any protection knights come in and it's attacking a free pawn we are going to take and go for his bishop like we said We're going for the queen as well but you know the queen is not going to stay there and allow itself to be taken we'll keep the arrow on it just in case they do forget themselves and we can take it off the board so the knight's got a bit of something here, compensation if you want to call it that. Because we're plus one, but as soon as we take, takes. And we can maybe support the pawn, maybe with a queen coming here or something. But I'm going away from my king, and he does have a queen, and his queen maybe can start moving here. 
get some nice activity going let's put a check on the king and I don't really want to stay in front of this pawn because this pawn's going to get hit so I could move the rook here or like we said just move the queen across then it gives space for the rooks to defend I'm very conscious the queen is wanting to come around here what does he have with his knight knight can come here Let's bring the queen up. Don't over egg it. Definitely don't want to be in front of this pawn. Rooks are going to be charging on this one like crazy. So the knight does have a nice spot here. Just to be a bit of a nuisance. Forty six minutes into the hour session. It's not been a bad session. Oh, we did say, didn't we? They're on the knights. So the knight, like we said, does have a nice position here, I think, just sitting here. But if we move the knight, the queen is going to be taking the pawn here. So we could defend. By just pushing the pawn just defending the knight but this pawn is going to be attacking the knight so we could bring the queen and attack his queen but then he takes the knight we could bring the queen here but then his knight takes the pawn there wow could 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 What shall we do? Knight can't protect. So if we went up, Queen takes, gets the pawn back, but then the Queen and the Knight are on this pawn. Bring the Rook here and then we're attacking. Bring the Rook here, attacking the Queen. Right, think, 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 think. What is best? This and then it's... It's getting more situation there. So he's still going to get the pawn no matter what really. Oh, hold on though. Hold on. No, he's still getting the... No, I don't think we need to worry about that. So we go and defend the knight. Pawn pushes down. We push onto the queen. A smaller piece attacking a higher piece. The queen is not going to be taking the knight. And the queen can't come here because the pawn's there. So he's going to have to move. So I think we're going to do that. Unless, of course, his knight comes in with a check on our king. Let's do that. Just worried about... But his queen's not there yet. You know, in front of the king. So maybe that's not going to work. Well, they moved there quick. So they've got something a bit sewn up, haven't they? So we said we're going to push the pawn. Rook's defending. Oh, look, looking for a check on the king. Knight takes, queen takes, rook, rook, rook. Okay. Yeah, I think they'll probably do that. Knight takes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's do it. Attack the rook knight. It's going to go back to where it came from, isn't it? Has he got a fork? Oh, he's got a fork. It's got a fork right there. No wonder he's moving fast. Let's just bring the rook up. <clears throat> no wonder they're moving fast. They saw gold. So we have a past pawn. Which is something maybe, maybe. I think they'll just go back and put pressure on this and gives us something to think about so we're not getting our rooks linked up and supporting the pawn pushing up. Like we said, we do have a nice position with our knight here. Uh, he's attacking the pawn now, so we're going to take advantage of that nice position, but they may challenge it. In fact, they may come here and then they get a passer. So that's... Oh, so if we take and they've resigned, excellent. 
Wow. Okay. 10 minutes left of this um, hour session. So it's not been a bad session at all, really. And let's just take a moment. I'm going to take a moment to analyze the game because, you know, playing so many games, I, I get tunnel vision and I start losing myself. Just want to look through and see if there was anything that needed to be changed in this particular game. Attack in the night. Go through very quickly. It didn't look like I had major concerns, but the, the locking down was really painful. As you know, we don't like locking down, but <clears throat> I think it worked in our favour in this game because, like we mentioned, their poor bishop wasn't really in the game. So I just want to see how the computer feels about that. Okay, so nice steady pushing blocking. So it's the slightest of advantages for us, but we explained all of the manoeuvres that we were making. I was surprised they actually took there, but yeah, they did. So nothing majorly wrong. And even if there was something majorly wrong, we had an explanation for what we were doing. Yeah, so I didn't think that was going to happen there, but um, they brought the knight in, attacking the pawn. We take captured. And the queen comes up. So it's not too bad a move. Okay. And that's not too bad a move for them either. Yes, it's around here where I'm thinking hey, it's a bit of a problem, but at this stage now it's. Yeah, the cleverness of looking for that fork there, but it was the speed at which the mood I'm thinking there's something not right here. So we're blocking off, and yeah, they just accidentally give us the knight there. So the game had play. It's saying knight c5, and that's what we were saying, you know, going here, you know, attacking the knight would have been probably a little bit better for them. It would have The game would have gone on a little bit longer because if we had taken, it would have given them a passer as well. Yep, okay, nice game. So eight minutes left of the session. Let's just go for a... It's going to have to be a quick game, isn't it? Ugh. Right, let's go in and do a three-minute game. This will be the last game. Not doing bullet. Because, you know, I'd have to play too many bullets. <laughs> Let's see. Three. A three and O. Oh, and let's go here. Clean as white. Or maybe not. Oh, Fianchetto. Let's get the bishop out then. And um, let's push through the center here. Shall we block down or just castle? Let's castle. Don't do anything crazy. And let's just block off this Fianchetto Malarkey. I'm going to bring the bishop through, x ray and through to the king queen thing. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so. One of two things. I don't think going here is going to be any good. So I'll just bring the bishop here. This is a bit slower. Could take. Could push on this occasion I'm going to take they're going to take this one they don't want to exchange the queen exactly could put a check on but we'll lose the queen at this stage I'm going to just whoa what's with the speed let's attack the bishop what's with the speed and now they've gone slow all of a sudden what's the deal let's take So on a dark square, knights can move. If the bishop takes, then we do have this here. But I don't think the bishop's going to take, is it? Let's see if they do. Let's bring the knight here. This bishop's currently protecting this square. We want this square. But it doesn't mean they could take. Oh, craggy. So the bishop's got no protection on it. Can we see? I think, yeah. But two pieces of might, well, the queen is protecting the knight, but the bishop doesn't have any protection. Okay, so do we just take? And then come here and take one of the rooks off the board. With a check on the king, obviously. Let's 
it looks like they've left the game. Well, I think that was a nice game to finish the hour session on, um, anonymous session.